everybody. This is Dan Sheridan. And I just wanted to share my automation journey and a couple trades that I uh, did today. And I want to show you a, a visual presentation of it uh, with the modeling. So let's let's dive in here. So the two trades that I did today in the Options Omega backtesting tool, I did a 15-day uh, SPX put calendar. Usually I'll put it on on Thursday, uh, two weeks from tomorrow, which would be Friday. The trade was put on at 2.35 p.m. That's how I set it, have it set up in the back testing. I paid 8.15 debit. Well, there's the bell end of the day. I paid 8.15 today, closed at 8.40, so it's already up about 3% or $75. If you look, this is the trades. So I just did three contracts, have it set for three contracts. I bought the Nov 12 6715 puts. And I have this set at around a 40 delta in the short put. So it's put on a little bit under the market. Like, And we've been in an up market for a good while here. So I like to put it on a little bit underneath. It gives you more room for the downside. So those are the legs. Again, bought the bought to open a 367 15 puts, no 12. So three. No seven, 67, 15 puts, and the total debit on the trade paid $8. Now, I think we're up 22% in an hour. This is sometimes at the end of the day, as the market makers are shifting the prices around a little bit, uh, they gave me a favorable mark, as we would say, but that's, you know, in 40 minutes, it didn't make 22%, right? I can, as the Cajun cook would say, I guarantee it. Right. And so there's five wide, five wide width between the long and the short of that. So that's a 15 day calendar. And then I did this double long diagonal. I'll show you that in a second. A double long diagonal. And these are the strikes you can see. Uh, I bought the Nov 7. This is, a, we call this an 11 15. Put this on today. My shorts are 15 days from expiration. My longs are. My shorts are 11 days from expiration. My my shorts are 11 days from expiration. My longs are 15 days from expiration. And you can see the strikes. In this case, I'm selling the 6635 put and I'm buying a, I call it an inside put. I'm buying my long put 6640, five points above my short put strike. I'm selling the 6865 calls and I'm buying the 6860s against it right? Those are inside before my short call. So you can see the logistics. I think in this one, I sold uh, how I set it up as I sold a 25 delta put and a 20 delta call. And you could see, again, uh, the shorts are 11 days out, the longs are 15 days out. In this calendar, my shorts are 15 days out, my longs are 20 days out. So those are some of the mechanics of it. But what I wanted to show you here today is you see this little brown thing here. If I click, you can view the chart right from here. And so you have the chart. So my short is 15 days out, be a 15 day calendar. As you move this uh, bar here, you can see, watch the sun as I say, the sun will rise. As you get closer to expiration, you're going to accumulate more theta in the green area. It's like the sun rising in the morning if you get to expiration. Well, good luck. Yeah, if you get to the short strike at expiration, it doesn't usually happen like that. But, but, and what it's showing is if you look here, select Greeks. Now I have the PL. What if I want to look at theta also? And you can see your most theta will be at the strike, right? And so as you get here, watch the theta, as you start getting closer to expiration, watch the theta along this axis here. As I go closer to expiration, that theta is gonna jack, right? Especially as you're near the short strike. More and more theta, and your p &L is gonna go higher and higher, right? 
So you can uh, see all those. Now, let's look at implied volatility. If you look at a trade like this, here's the Greeks. Well, let me, let me just show you here. So we'll just go back to P&L. If you look here, here's your beginning Greeks. I'm pretty close to neutral, positive theta on a calendar, long vega, this is row interest rate stuff, and then Vanna White, not Vanna White, and Charm. But the main ones I look at are Delta, Delta and Gamma refer to price risk, theta, and then volatility risk. Now, so again, the key is with a calendar, you're selling a closer in expiration, generally a little bit under the market, uh, 20 points. You're buying a strike five days further out. So your shorts, your shorts are, are going to decay quicker. And that's why as you go closer to expiration here, it's alive, right? You can see the sun is rising here two days to expiration. You can see how this works here. It's just very quick. You know, you're starting out 15 days from expiration. And as you, on your long, as you go closer in, closer to expiration, you can see how the graph really escalates there. And I like to go through these one by one. So you can see, like, if you look at the deltas and follow the graph here, as we go up, you're eventually going to get short deltas. As we go down, right, past the short strike, you're going to get long deltas. That's not good. You don't want to get long deltas on the way down, short deltas on the way up. So, and then if you look at, let's just look at another Greek. Uh, we got delta, gamma, vega. You can look at two together. I'll just look vega. So you can see here volatility we're starting out with Vega of 82, all right? And as we, that's your, that's your Vega, your volatility risk. And you can see how that changes, right? As we go up or down, and then you could also, as you get closer to expiration, your Vega is going to increase. Why will your vega increase as you get closer to expiration? Because a lot of the juice is going to come out of your shorts. So you're going to be, it's going to look more, more prominent picture uh, is going to be of your, your long options and not your short options. So this is great. For those of you like visuals, you can, you can play around. You can, you know, again, when you're starting out with the grit, with the tool, I like to just hit P and L, and then you can go through the different Greeks and focus on that. Here we are back with the graph. And again, start once you start playing with this, also what you can do with the volatility is separate, right? VIX does not represent your two strikes in your calendar, right? So, you know, a lot of times if the market moves a lot, your short option may go up a lot more than your long, right? And you say, well, I didn't make money from volatility. Or sometimes both will go up the same together, and then you'll get some green, you'll get some money from it. So, you know, I think it's a good exercise to write down the volatility of your short and long when you do it. Then I think you can follow mixed month trades and you won't get frustrated. You can't just look at VIX and say in a mixed month trade, especially if you're long Vega, volatility goes up, you'll make money, volatility goes down, you won't. Now, VIX does not represent your short strikes, right? So anyways, that's a little bit of the tool. Let's go back with the other one. Here's the double long diagonal. And you can see, here's the graph here. And here's the Greeks and three deltas long, positive theta, long vega, right? And this gives you the max loss, the max profit, short long ratio. So you can see, is there some juice in this, your shorts relative to your longs. And here's your strikes. You can see here because it's long vega, if I start raising the volatility, it's alive, right? 
can see the green area there. This button, you can reset it. And right now I have it set at 50 points. You can see here on the range. If I want to make that range, you know, bigger, right? Along the, the axis here, I can do that. Or I can make it, you know, I can get it to, uh, you know, if you want to just focus in on it or zoom in, now the SPX is a 20 point increments, right? If you want to get it, you know, depending on how you want to look at it, right? And again, here is the, again, we would like this as you get close to expiration. Watch what happens here. Here we are one day before expiration. The sun is rising in certain parts of the graph in the winged area here. But the sun is going down in the middle of the graph, right? Now, does it always have to look like this as you get close to expiration? No, because it's going to be, you know, even as you get close to expiration, right? Watch this. Close to expiration, you say you're going to get hosed, right? If we're in the middle of the graph. But watch this. What if the volatility goes up? It's alive again, right? I just wanted to say that. So, so it's, you know, a lot of this is on these trades because it's long Vega. Am I happy with the volatility? You know, you can on any of these trades, but this is a double long diagonal. You can raise this part to start out, but you can't have your cake and eat it too. You're going to move in your short strikes. Now, again, the logistics of a this is a double long diagonal, right? So you're selling, right? Let's bring this back to the beginning here. So what are we doing here? You're selling the 6635 puts. What else? You're selling the 6865 calls. Dan, what's that called? A short strangle. Some out of the money call and puts. Where's my long or my hedges? They're inside my shorts, right? So on the downside, puts are 64.40, and my calls are 68.60. As you go inside your shorts, you're buying more extrinsic value. So you're going to have a more longer Vega, which I don't mind when vols at a reasonable level, in the lower end of the range. A uh, short long ratio gives you this of the trade. So you have an idea, is there much juice in this trade with the shorts compared to the longs? So that's a double long diagonal. And I like that over it versus a double calendar or a double diagonal. Double diagonal, your longs are further out of the money versus your shorts. So that would be an outside diagonal. And then, you know, to double calendar, your longs are the same strike as your shorts. In a couple instances, I like the double long diagonal over the double calendar or the double diagonal. And that's in, hey, maybe the lower volatility environment relatively, or I'm in a comfortable volatility. Maybe it's not the lowest it's been, but there's some catalyst coming or I expect some movement. And it just gives you more room there. It can benefit more if you have a good price move and your deltas move slower against you. What does that mean? That means because you have a lower negative gamma as the stock goes up or as SPX goes up or down, you're not getting in trouble as quick. On the downside, you're not getting as long deltas as quick as you would with some of the other double type strategies. And on the upside, you're not getting as short deltas as quick. So it's it's... You know, and, and again, any double strategy, say, when would I normally do these? Maybe 8 to 15 days from expiration. That's kind of that window. Once you start getting over 15, 16 days, I'd rather just do a single calendar start there. You'll get more theta. But these trades, I like double type structures, um, a little bit shorter term. And again, you could do it five days from expiration, but I generally, I'll do it maybe seven to 15, seven to 14, seven to 15 days. But I like to do them. I like this type of structure because once you start getting close to expiration, you have more price risk. So I want more room. So anyways, folks, I hope that was a help. Uh, talk to you next time. 
Uh, this is Dan Sheridan from Sheridan Risk Management. Thanks a lot.